Lionel Messi to leave PSG this summer, Arsenal to beat Chelsea for Everton's Amadou Wanana, according to reports in the press. Everyday Express. By outbidding Chelsea for Everton midfielder Amadou Wanana, Arsenal might exact the ideal retaliation on the Blues for their acquisition of Mihailo Mudrik earlier this month. Both teams are interested in the playmaker and might believe that now is the ideal time to hire him. According to rumours, Lionel Messi has changed his mind and won't sign a new contract with Paris Saint-Germain. The forward will now be a free agent in the summer, contrary to expectations that he would sign a new deal at Parc des Princes before the end of the current campaign. After complaints about noise during Max Verstappen's Red Bull filming day, Emola circuit officials were punished. The F1 champion activated adjacent noise pollution devices in one of Red Bull's most recognizable vehicles, forcing the Italian tracks owners to pay €500. Euros, 440 pounds. Regular Mail After receiving complaints from rival Premier League clubs, UEFA is prepared to tighten the loophole that allowed Chelsea to spread the cost of their record transfer spending over up to eight years. Newcastle United and Chelsea are vying for Everton's Anthony Gordon. After the Goodison Park loss to Southampton, Abdoulaye Dugu was prohibited from working out with the Everton first team last week. American heavyweight Jermaine Franklin and Anthony Joshua have reached an agreement to fight at the O2 Arena on April 1. Milan van Avijk of Heron Vane is being considered by Sporting Lisbon as a potential substitute for Tottenham target Pedro Porro. According to a source, Seed Colasinac of Marseille's home was broken into on Friday when he was competing in a French Cup match. The governor? Tottenham worries that if a sanction imposed by the Italian Football Federation is not overturned on appeals, Fabio Peritici, their managing director of football, may be subject to a global ban. After previously failing to reach an agreement on a deal for the Benfica midfielder, Chelsea is preparing a new bid for Enzo Fernandez. Everyday Telegraph. According to individuals familiar with the negotiations, Saudi Arabia tried unsuccessfully to purchase Formula One from Liberty Media last year during the Netflix Drive to Survive boom. In the midst of a tense studio standoff over the sexual noises hoax during Live FA Cup coverage last week, BBC management frantically begged Gary Lineker to apologize. The rugby football union's move to lower the tackle height for the amateur game, according to Ireland head coach Andy Farrell, will make players even more vulnerable to accidents waiting to happen. Jelena Dokic, a former Australian tennis player, and Novak Djokovic's endearing conversation went viral over the weekend, but she has since retaliated against the horrific fat shaming that has been done to her online. Days edition. According to sources in Spain, Barcelona is in talks with Marco Asensio and could soon sign a Real Madrid player for the first time in 27 years. Just two weeks after announcing his retirement from football, Gareth Bale has revealed he will play in a PGA Tour event. Jeff Bezos, the creator of Amazon, is prepared to sell the Washington Post to make money for a bid on the NFL's Washington Commanders. A Sunrise According to reports, Newcastle and Manchester United have spoken about a startling transfer for Scott McTominay in January. Conor Ben might fight Manny Pacquiao in a stunning event in Abu Dhabi to make his boxing comeback. Digital Record In the wake of Aberdeen's embarrassing and humiliating Scottish Cup loss, manager Jim Goodwin has pledged to continue. However, the troubled manager acknowledges that, in the wake of the Darvel catastrophe, there are no guarantees about his future. Ryan Porteous might still play out the rest of the season for Hibs before leaving on a free transfer. British Sun For the injured Rocky Bushiri and the leaving Ryan Porteous, Hibs may turn to Scotland's Stuart Findlay.